Okay, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, welcome here today to Manchester City. A um, few pieces of housekeeping uh, before we start the press conference. Photographers will do the first couple of minutes, first couple of questions uh, open to photography, and then my colleague Ellen will take you out and around to a photo position. Um, you'll be doing questions to kick off, please, in English. Um, there are headsets, you can see the channels on the side there, English Channel 2, Spanish Channel 3. First group of questions please in English, and then we'll cut some questions halfway through in Spanish and Catalan. Um, as the, the microphone, we have two microphones on the side. You can see a show of hands clearly, so I can see where we're going with these microphones. And please give your name and organisation before you ask your question, please. So we'll start off with James Cooper from Sky. Good afternoon, Pep. I'm James Cooper from Sky. Um, I think when you first sat down, sorry, as Barcelona manager, you told the Barcelona fans to fasten their seatbelts. What was your message now to the Manchester City fans who are looking forward to the next three or four years? Yeah, fasten seat. Well, good morning to everybody. It's our first time here. Uh, yeah, fast and seat belt for the other side of the car. <laughs> that is... Uh, uh, so, uh, I just arrived 10 days ago, so one week ago, 10 days ago, we are still here knowing each other, so I need time. But uh, we are going to, to try to do our best, of course, for our people especially for our players to be happy what uh, they do and and obviously for our fans to try at the end to try to be proud is uh, if our fans are proud about what uh, we do what they see because at the end the fans they are all the fans are all the world are so intelligent when they are seeing their players and uh, they realize immediately if they are committed for what they what they do or not, and of course we're going to try. We're going to try. We start to to work about that. You brought in three new players already. How many more new faces would you like to bring in before the end of the transfer? Window? But I think I think all the squads in the world, all, all the clubs in the world, try to 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 make the best squad as possible. Uh, I think I'm sorry. Uh, here maybe it's not the no maybe not sure it's not the right place to, to explain about about the new players so for respect for the players for respect for the of course for the other clubs but I realize immediately how good the journalists in English uh, in England are and of course we are going to discover meantime what is our target and what do you want for 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 the next season of course we're going to try to move a little bit the squad. And uh, then we're going to try. Uh, and what are your impressions? One second, please. We're just going to move the photographers out. Just two seconds while we move the photographers out. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank you. You are. Sorry, last one from me. What are your impressions of Manchester? And is this the centre of the footballing universe now? Well, it's ama really amazing. You know the centre better than me, but uh, it's really amazing. So we're, we're, when we are not going to play good or we are going to play bad, the facilities will not be the reason why. So that's amazing, I think, for, for the community, for Manchester, and of course for, for the for the first team squad, uh, squad and especially for the for the young players for the academy, is the best place to develop their skills, their talents. It's amazing, really amazing. Congratulations, of course, Manchester City for that. Pep, Simon Stone, BBC. Um, when you took over Barcelona, they were a club who was used to winning things. When you took over Bayern Munich, they were used to winning things. Manchester, uh, Manchester City, sorry, have won things, but last year they fell away. Is this your hardest task 
as a manager? So I, I don't know. Really, really, I don't know. Maybe when when I took over the second team from Barcelona, it was most the hardest because that, if I felt in that moment my career would be finished. Uh, of course, Barcelona, the demanding there, like Bayern Munich as well. So it's you have to win every day, every day, and every day. So, and I know how difficult here in England what uh, I saw in the last three, four, or five years to find a team to win four, five, six. Games in a row and winning, winning, winning these these games is not not easy. All the people talk about that. All the managers who has more experience than me here in England talking about that. Maybe that is the the challenge and uh, um, to try to to be more const more constant or constantly uh, constant in, in our in our game. And uh, but I think so. I think my career always. The people are going to demanding uh, my teams, the way we are going to to train, so to try to win the the, the as much titles as possible. But that is at the end that is good. It's better to live in that in that you know that pressure uh, than to live. Okay, if we win it's okay, and and if no win it's it's okay as either. So I think you have to to understand. I think that is the first step. Our body language has to understand. Maybe we will not be able to win. Maybe we are not going to win every day, but we're going to try. And when it doesn't happen, something is going to happen. So that is, I think, that is the most important thing to change in, in our players. People associate you with magnificent football, with passing football. Do you think that will be possible every week in a league as physical as England? That's why I'm here. To prove, to prove myself that I am able to do that. Just here for, from Barcelona in, in, in Bayern Munich that I will not be able. But that is the reason why I'm here. So I was in Barcelona where I had absolutely everything, the best player ever, and one team or the, most of the players grew up from the academy, so I knew them. And Bayern Munich, a club where you have a lot of experience as well for many, many things. And, uh, and here is another, another test for my, my career. So it would have been comfortable to stay where we were, when I was. But now I feel that is the right moment to come here and to prove myself if I'm able to convince these players to play the way we want, not, not just I want, we want. And, and show level. At the end, we will see. Of course, it's not going well. We are ready to, to prepare what's going to happen. Pep, Don McGuinness talks sport. You mentioned before, you just touched upon facilities and young players. As part of the project and the job you have now, how important will it be to move players from this academy into the first team? Love. I love to, to work with the young players. In Barcelona, I was lucky because I started in the second team, you know, when promote to go to the first team, I knew almost all the players in the second team, the third and the fourth team, and in 1870. And that helped me a lot, a lot. Uh, uh, and, and I knew when I spoke with Rodo, especially with Chiqui and with Rodo, I knew that uh, they are working the last, last years very, very well in that sense. So Chelsea and, and Manchester City are the best Academies in that way, in the way they play, well, they are fighting both clubs to win the titles in the in the academies. And now I realize, I realize in the short time, one week we are working with uh, ten, nine, ten players in the second team, and most of them has them. I am really impressed about their quality. I'm really impressed. And you have been working obviously with the players that are here this week. How good has it been <coughs> to meet up again with Yaya Torre and some other familiar faces? I know Yaya from a long time. Uh, uh, he did very, very well in Barcelona and he as well. So he's a huge, huge talent. And uh, of course, all the players are here right now, count on me. So after that, we're going to see what's happening in the future. Not just in the case in the Yayas, you know, in the other, in the other players. But Yaya is here, I count on them, on him. Pep, Guillermo de Sky Sports. Would you share with us your feelings one minute before starting the press conference at Barcelona? One minute 
before starting the press conference in Munich and the minute before you started this press conference? Always nervous. I have afraid of you, <laughs> all of you. <laughs> That's why I take a little bit distance. So I know when, when the, we're going to we try to do our best, and I know when it's not going well, you are not going to help us. You are not going to help me. I know a little bit this business. So that's why sometimes it's better to be a little bit distance. Because sometimes when we are so so close friends, after you have to make my job, and when we play bad, you have to say, oh, this team play bad. And actually, I am disappointed. <laughs> and that's why it's better to be a little bit uh, far away. And you make your job free, and I can make my job free. Of course, every three days I will be here to spend our time together. Good morning, Pipe. Uh, Alan Khan, Sport 316 in UAE. Um, Pipe, did you meet with Sheikh Mansour and uh, the chairman? Did they set you any objectives and targets, or do you set no. your own? No, we, we saw each other three times and uh, just talk about what he thinks. We tried to meet each other. I know he lives in Abu Dhabi. I'm going to live here in Manchester, but uh, we are fully in contact by telephone. Of course, when he's coming here, we're going to see each other. And and no, they are not against me. You have to win Premier League or the Champions League or like this. So he told me, make your job as best as possible. Make your job like you are. And after that, we are going to see. And I feel the club is, of course, behind us, support us to, to reach what we need or to reach what we are looking for. Hi Pep, Rory Smith from the Times. When Javier Mascherano joined Barcelona from England, he said it took a year to adapt to the type of football you played at Barcelona. How long will it take the players here to adapt to your, st your style of football? Javier Mascherano is so humble. So humble. That is not true. <laughs> he achieved uh, what we want immediately. Javier is one of the most intelligent players I ever see in my career, like a football player, like a coach. Uh, sometimes you speak with the players, and you, you want to make an assessment on an idea and a concept. And before you finish your idea, he already understood that. So there are not many, there are few. But Javier is one of them. So, uh, and, and at the end, what we want is so, so simple. It's when the opponent has the ball, take as soon as possible, uh, recover, uh, take, it, take him back. And uh, when we have the ball, try to move as quick as possible, to create as much chances as possible. To, that's all. And good team spirit. That is my target, like the next, next life here, in, my next life here in Manchester. Hi, Pep. Uh, Sam Lee from Goal.com. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. Um, at Barcelona, you had a lot of roles above being a coach. At Bayern, you work more in a set structure with a lot of club legends. How do you see your role here? Um, what are your responsibilities above being a coach? My responsibility here is try to the players I will be in our hands, in my hands, do it absolutely everything for them. That is my target. The other business, the club, is. I realize it's, it's great, it's huge, in the sense it's, it's big and, and they want to grow up, grow up and, and make him better this year. So I'm just focused in my players, focused in, uh, in what I have to do on the pitch. That is my, the reason why as well, the reason why I, I decided to come here. Hi Pep, James Robson, Manchester United News. Uh, you spent a certain amount of time at Barcelona, a certain amount of time at Bayern Munich. I wonder, do you see this as potentially your last job in football? I don't think so. I don't think so. I wonder how many opportunities did you get to come to England before Manchester City as a manager? S seriously, it was this one. Uh, 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 so I w always I will be grateful for this club, for the people who trust me to join this country and join this, uh, the Premier League. So, of course, I think the coaches sooner or later has to prove what does it mean to play in England, the Premier League. And uh, Manchester City gave me this challenge, this opportunity and uh, the chance and 
for me, I always be grateful for that. So I will do my best until the last day. I will do my best to to achieve or to reach what we want. Um, hello, I'm Geert from Belgian newspaper Nieuwsblad. Um, I'm a little bit interested in the two Belgians uh, who are here. Uh, Vincent yeah. Companies uh, was already always a captain here, but it, with his injuries, uh, there was some doubts about him. How do you think about him? What I think about Vincent Company that uh, England know his quality maybe better than me. My dream for Vincent Company is to be fit. We cannot <laughs> ask about Company or about. Uh, Especially him in the last two years, he played not too many games, few, few, few games. Is to be fit. That is, the, without that, we cannot talk about the other point. And and of course, the captain has a lot of experience. He's a magnificent central defender, and but he has to be fit. And I spoke with him. We spoke with him. Just just focus on your body. Forget about it. The other kind of things. Just focus and to recover, to come back what you were in the past about your physical condition. And after that, Vincent will decide for himself or he'll show again his quality. Uh, Richard Conway from BBC Radio 5 Live. Um, you were quoted a, a couple of years ago as saying you disliked or even loathed the phrase tiki-taka because it didn't represent what you felt you were playing at Barcelona. Um, with that in mind and given the style of football you played at Bayern, could you give us an insight into how you see this City squad playing, what, how you see them performing, what you want to see them do? When I arrived in, in Bayern Munich, I had an idea. It was my first experience to move on from I grew up, from I grew up from the 13 years old, what I felt completely, what I feel completely the way Barcelona play. I move on from Bayern Munich and this is the idea. I want to try to, to make what I feel, but I learn immediately that at the end, I have to adapt about the quality of my players. So, in the, the quality of my players, it was completely different about the players I had before in Barcelona. And of course, the way in German play is completely different in Spain. I am pretty sure I never played one game in Premier League, so against Sunderland, against the Big Sam, I will play the, the first one. Uh, I, but I am pretty sure will be completely different in, in England and in Germany. That's why I'm here, to prove or to see there uh, how it is. And of course, I have to adapt my ideas and the quality of the players. And uh, we are looking for the players as well for the adapt what I want, because it's difficult for me to convince the players something I don't believe. So in this mix, we have to find each other and as soon as possible and play the way, but there are two or three things that they are not going to change for the for the rest of my life. Like a coach, always will be the same. And after that, the, the details: if the player play here or play there, or, or play more in front, or a little bit more back, or like this, it's always it depends on the quality of the players. Fortunately, we don't play play, and the fans go to the stadium, at the stadium, and to see our players, and they have to adapt. We have to adapt about their qualities. Okay, last few questions in English before we go to Spanish ones. We'll start with Martin. Uh, Pep, Martin Sam with the Daily Mail. The perception is that the best players in the world are still congregated in Spain, Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo. But the mo most successful coaches are now coming to England, yourself and Jose Mourinho and Jurgen Klopp and, and those guys. Why, why do you think that is? What is the appeal of English football? to a coach, to you particularly as a coach? Hopefully, hopefully for the best for everybody, the best players can come here in England. Because I, what I said before, at the end, we cannot forget that. Of course, we spoke a lot, the, 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 the managers, the trainers, the coaches speak a lot every three days, every three days. And that's why the people believe you have the key of all solutions or we are more important. And at the end, the, 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 the fans go in the stadium to, to, to see the to see the, the players. I, I don't know the reason why the other coaches came here. I just can't talk about me. So I came like a football player two or three times to, to see this atmos atmos atmosphere. And, uh, and, uh, and like a coach in Champions League in Barcelona, in Bayern Munich, we came many, many, many times to play here and said, wow, that is pretty good. Uh, not just the atmosphere and, and 
I never leave the boxing days, for example. I never go to the stadiums with uh, freezing and windy and uh, where the pitch is not good and the people say Pep just can play in a good condition for his style. I said, okay, why not can play good with windy and freezing in this kind of uh, pitches? And and that's why. That's why I... It's a, it's a target for me. It's, it's a personal, you know, ambition to say, I, I want to prove, I want to prove myself to live here. That's why maybe the other ones, it was, it was the same. It was the same. I don't know. Hi, Pep. David Chisnell from ITV. Uh, if I can just ask you about your England players. Joe Hart and Raheem Sterling both were criticised in the summer for their performances for England. What did you make of their performances and how important are both of them for you here? Yeah, they were criticised because they lost. And when they lost, it not depends of Sterling. I know I hear the last week or ten days what what happened with, uh, especially with the Sterling. Uh, of course, he has a little bit problem. The the money they pay for for him and always is in the mind from the people. But I am curious. I am expecting. Uh, I am. Looking forward to work with him to try to to help him to to show us again how good player he is, and uh, not just with Sterling, with of course Joe Hart and for the other English players. And we like to in Barcelona, the the basis it was uh, Catalan Spanish players there in Germany in Bayern Munich was the basis it was, and I would like to work with English bases here, but they are so so expensive here the English players more than the other. Players around the world, and it's not easy. But uh, but not just not just about Joe, about uh, Rahim. I'm going to try to help, of course, to to help them, to help all of them. Uh, Steve from AP. Uh, you're not the only new manager in Manchester. Uh, are you looking forward to relish? Are you relishing uh, sort of renewing your competition with uh, Jose Mourinho over in? Uh, I think Jose said pretty well in his press conference. I think it's not about him, about me. I think so. So we are focused between each other. So the other one is going to win. So there are what what I saw from the distance is uh, it's no matter the team is so tough to win here the games. Uh, I will prove myself. I am pretty sure of that. How difficult it is. Uh, but I need, I need to, to, to. So I played many times. Uh, we played uh, many times against each other. Uh, only I can say, uh, like a coach, uh, you can. Uh, you, they help me. The, co the big coaches and judges, of course, one of them. They help me to reach another level, like a coach. So, how my experience against him, against, for example, Jurgen Klopp in, in Dortmund, or. In that time, in Dortmund, Thomas Tuchel and a lot of coaches and managers in Spain, in England, they made me better. So, and of course, all of managers of the world want to win, and of course, here also we are going to try to to win as well. Okay, guys, we do questions in Spanish now, so the English journalists can listen on the channel. Okay. Thank you. Jose Garcia, Deportes 4. How do you see the sort of battle uh, oncoming between Mourinho and and Mourinho? I just explained in uh, in English. I think we've got a game coming up in China. Then we've got the fourth game at Old Trafford. Then we've got in the second round of fixtures here as well. We might play. We probably won't play them because they're in the Europa League. Might come up against them in the Carling Cup or the FA Cup. I've also got a battle against uh, Ronald Koeman and other managers as well. Paul Gustems of Catalonia Radio. Uh, when you arrived at the Bundesliga, you said that the German football was based on counter-attacks. What do you think the Premier League football is based upon? Uh, what, sort, what sort of tactics? What do you think? I'll need a bit of time to be able to discover what type, type of style of play it is here. I think it's going to be more physical. Uh, some people say it's not as attractive football, but I can't say that. I need to speak to people here, English people at the club, with Arteta, 
and Brian Key, uh, Brian Kidd, everybody, everybody here. They've said that it's very physical, and then that that kind of can condition the way in which you play. I think halfway through the season, I might be able to explain better that answer. Iraq, uh, ooh. What's, is this the biggest challenge of our career? I think every stage has had a, a big challenge. It could be the biggest because City uh, have not won as many titles as Barca or Bayern. But, but I don't know, I can't, I can't answer that one. The challenge is coming to a new country... Uh, playing and trying your best to prove yourself, that's the challenge. And afterwards, what have you learned in the last few days' work that you've done here so far? Was it easier at Barca? At the end of the day, uh, we depend upon the players and they depend upon us as well. And you've got to adapt to the country in which you're in. It'll be the same here, same as it was in Germany. Get to know the players. Um, these players have, have played all over the place, places like Old Trafford, Anfield. Uh, and they've, they've got to qualify for the Champions League. Um, the owners, the previous managers, Mancini and Pellegrini. Uh, it's just a case of trying to maintain the level that's been set at this club and try, try that, try that every match that they go into, they make it dif difficult for the other team to win. That they represent the shirt. Playing against teams managed by people like Klopp, um, and you've said that the, it, you'll be made a better manager playing against teams managed by Mourinho and Klopp. What are you bringing to City in terms of uh, of your team, and also what will Brian Kidd bring and Arteta bring to the party? Kidd knows the club perfectly. He knows the Premier League. He's been at City, United. Uh, he knows he's helping me get to know the players. Arteta. He's one of the one of the best central midfielders there's been. He knows he knows English football. A lot of the players and these people know lots of stuff that I need to know and need to learn and understand. I've I've brought people from uh, Barcelona and, and Munich, Carlos. I know their capacities and their abilities. Uh, it's all about getting to know the Premier League, what English football means, the Premier League, and, wh and what the players can do. And the next uh, challenge will be to get get the best out of Jure, Ture. Every, all the players are coming from holiday, they're only beginning to train now. Not just Yaya, but everybody. It's a little bit to do with what Luis just said. You said you've come here to learn. What? How important is it for you to have guys like Mikel Arteta alongside you? Very important. Um, we've been studying a lot what uh, what the Premier League means, uh, how we defend, how we attack, pl tactical things. They know. They, they've got like twelve. He's got twelve, thirteen years between Scotland and here. He knows what Boxing Day is all about. He's going to tell me about everything before I take any decisions. I will consult him with Mikel. Two questions. First one. Who, what do you hope to achieve in three years at Manchester City? Depends on, depends on what happens. How do you imagine it going? Uh, 
hopefully we we'll play well, win games, uh, that everyone's happy with us, the fans are happy with us. I can't tell you though, it's too early. Uh, it's, it's all a kind of getting to know things stage at the moment. We're, we're, I've been working eight or nine days with the first team. Loads are still on holiday, still players need to come here. I've not really had all the squad together yet, I need to get to know the players. It's difficult to come into this stage. It's difficult to know what they're capable of. Obviously I've got big expectations. I hope things go as well as they can, as quickly as possible. Second question. Are you worried at all the fact that you're in the same city as Mourinho? Or really, is all that, is that just kind of not a big thing now? I don't see it as a question. Uh, we're both here, Jose and I. Uh, he wants to win, I want to win. We know each other pretty well uh, uh, from before we know each other from Barcelona. But I insist on that, you know, it's... I think it's great that big managers are here, top managers are here. Uh, big managers take me as a manager to a different level. Competing with uh, managers like that take me to the next level to try and win the cup, win the Premier League, win the Champions League. They push you to try and achieve those things. Oh, but we'll only, we'll find out, and then you find out whether you are uh, big enough or capable of running teams like Barca, like Bayern, like Madrid, like Manchester City. But I've only just managed, only just started training and managing here. And there's lots of tactical variations available now in the Premier League. People like Klopp, Conte. How do you think it will play out tactically? It's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how it. Uh, uh, Conte is a master tactician. I think he's a great signing for Chelsea. It's going to be very in, it's going to be it's going to be very interesting competing against people like Klopp and him. Ranieri as well, Kuman also, loads, loads of coaches come to mind. Apart from saying it's going to be interesting, uh, it's hard to say how it's going to play out. Uh, have you ever thought about being manager of Spain? I'm a club manager. I'm a club manager. I like the work that I do at club level.